Madam President, as the Ukraine conflict continues to rage, we are often asked, whose side are we on? And our answer each time is straight and honest. India is on the side of peace and will remain firmly there. We are on the side that respects the UN Charter and its founding principles. We are on the side that calls for dialogue and diplomacy as the only way out. We are on the side of those struggling to make ends meet, even as they stare at the escalating costs of food, of fuel, and fertilizers. It is therefore in our collective interest to work constructively, both within the United Nations and outside, in finding an early resolution to this conflict. While the global attention has been on Ukraine, India has also had to contend with other challenges, especially in its own neighborhood. Some of them may be aggravated by the COVID pandemic and ongoing conflicts, but they speak too of a deeper malaise. The accumulation of debt in fragile economies is of particular concern. We believe that in such times, the international community must rise above narrow national agendas. India, for its part, is taking exceptional measures in exceptional times. We do so when we send 50,000 metric tons of wheat and multiple tranches of medicines and vaccines to Afghanistan. When we extend credits of $3.8 billion to Sri Lanka for fuel, essential commodities, and trade settlement. When we supply 10,000 metric tons of food aid and vaccine shipments to Myanmar. When we fill the gap in humanitarian needs left unaddressed by political complexity. Whether it is disaster response or humanitarian assistance, India has stood strong, contributing particularly to those nearest to us. India would be completing its tenure as a member of the Security Council this year. In our term, we have acted as a bridge on some serious but divisive issues confronting the Council. We have also focused on concerns such as maritime security, peacekeeping, and counterterrorism. Our contributions range from providing technology with a human touch to ensuring safety and security of UN peacekeepers. As we begin the G20 presidency this December, we are sensitive to the challenges faced by developing countries. India will work with other G20 members to address serious issues of debt, of economic growth, food and energy security, and particularly of environment. The reform of governance of multilateral financial institutions will continue to be one of our core priorities. Climate action and climate justice are particularly noteworthy in this respect. In their pursuit, India has worked with partners on the International Solar Alliance, the One Sun, One World, One Grid Initiative, and the Coalition for Disaster Resilient Infrastructure. We stand ready to support any collective and equitable endeavor to protect our environment and to further global wellness. Lifestyle for environment, or life, as declared by Prime Minister Narendra Modi in Glasgow on the sidelines of COP26, is our homage to Mother Nature. India remains deeply committed to fighting climate change under the UNFCCC and the Paris Agreement. We do so on the principle of common but differentiated responsibilities and respective capabilities in the light of different national circumstances. We have announced our updated nationally determined contributions after COP26.